I'm Lou. Welcome to my Lou tube. I have some advice for you. Don't wear cowboy boots and go near a wet floor because it'll end badly. I just found out that I've dislocated my hip pretty badly and need to be put to sleep so they can pull it back in again. I feel like an idiot <laughs> falling over. This is bad. To the doctors, not only is the hip dislocated, I also snapped a bone within there, so I'm being taken off to have it dealt with. <laughs> I think I'm a bit young to be a man. I'm here for the interview. It, it, it worked. Oh, yeah. These guys are amazing, and I think it was fairly complication free. I was told you're being entertaining, so that's new and needs to be. No? You what? <laughs> so Rob's gone home now, but I've got his hat because it's like a freaking spotlight above me. But I'm in a ward with a couple of old guys who are just being so abusive to the nurses and now each other. It's just awful, honestly. These nurses deserve bravery awards and patience awards and to be paid properly because this is terrible what they deal with. Oh my god. So there's a lady in here as well now and she's getting upset at the guys basically shouting at each other and the nurses. So she's asked if the nurse can put them both to sleep. Maybe they'll put us all to sleep, put us out of our misery. Tea and toast, amazing. I wish I hadn't done this, but I also wish I wasn't such an insomniac. I just want to sleep. I'd like the pain to go away. A long night. Still here, still awake. It's now about half past two. I still can't sleep. I ask for something to put me to sleep, but they can't give me anything, so they're giving me another dose of painkillers and had another go on the bedpan, living the dream. I managed to get about an hour's sleep. I've had um, codeine paracetamol uh, they couldn't get me anything to make me sleep but had some painkillers i think i need some more again now it is about seven in the morning the doctors nurses shifts are changing over so it sounds like a party out there <laughs> i just kept getting quite tearful and sad just felt so helpless in the night like i'm not allowed to move at all and even the old ladies around me are able to go to the loo and they're shuffling about and stuff and I'm just here, just can't move at all and it just makes you realise how much you just take for granted when you're fit and healthy. Just selected my lunch and uh, dinner. Pretty excited about the cheese and biscuits that will be coming later. <laughs> so I got a new dress, but um, I could do get my hair done because I've developed uh, dreadlocks in 24 hours, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> the um, double dose of morphine is just about to start kicking in, I think. Buckle up, baby. So I'm still waiting to hear whether I need um, surgery on my hip. The good news is the hip has stayed within the socket. It hasn't popped back out again. That's what they were nervous of and that's why I've got a leg brace on so I can't move my leg at all. Um, but yeah, just waiting to hear if I need surgery. The amusing thing is the nurses keep calibrating the um, machine because my pulse is low. <laughs> I tried to tell them I'm a cyclist, so I think I'm kind of fit and stuff, but um, yeah, then they were manually taking it with a watch and, and counting. 
<laughs> mm. They've just quadrupled my morphine um, dose. I was on two and a half, and they've just given me ten. So I'm not sure what's what. <laughs> I'm playing a game of look at different body parts and spots and bruises to see like what's up. I've just found another one. So maybe I hit my elbow on the way down. Who knows? So I was texting with my mum earlier telling her about who else is in the ward here with me and um, autocorrect. Uh, didn't really help me out because I text about the lady opposite being deaf, but autocorrect changed it to dead. So then my mum was quite worried about the situation I'm in. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not that bad. Oh, it's lovely. Why don't you try this? Comb my hair, plaited it, I feel like a new woman the little things and I brush my teeth so um, I found out I don't need surgery which is great but um, I uh, need to be really careful of not popping the hip out of the joint again so I'm gonna be in a leg brace for a couple of weeks and I'm gonna be on crutches for six weeks um, no cycling outside for three months um, and hopefully, uh, maybe if all goes to plan, I might be able to ride on turbo um, after six weeks if things go okay. So I feel uh, a whole range of emotions um, about that. Uh, that's all I have to say about that for now. <laughs> I'm trying to get comfy in whichever way I moved. I accidentally pulled out the freaking cannula on my arm. So I called the nurse to get her to try and fix it or something. She just pushed it back into the vein. Oh my God, it hurt. So I jolted my freaking hip again. And then she took it out, but it was pouring with blood. And now it's just like that. Oh my God. The nurse is doing their stuff. It's just nonstop. So I've just been having a sad little sob. Nurse came over to try and take some bloods out of my hand, which really freaking hurt. And she didn't even get any, so that was fun. So she's sending someone else over. And also she thought my um, morphine was on request. I didn't know it was on request. I thought I've just been given it every however many hours. So I didn't request it, so it's all worn off. So I'm in quite a lot of pain again now. And just hate this. <laughs> I'm worried about all that time off my bike. I've worked so hard for my fitness and it's so important for my mental health as well. I'm scared. <laughs> So pain meds are finally kicking in and I've had some toast. I also just got visited by uh, two doctors, uh, one of them is a cyclist and they know my original hip specialist, um, Marcus Banks, and I've chatted to him. So I'm in, I'm in good hands and that's reassuring. So I'm feeling a lot less tragic than I did about an hour ago. Um, but yeah, prognosis is the same um, with uh, crutches for six weeks and, and just need to avoid certain movements so it doesn't pop out of joint again um, but they're going to delay the post um, procedure MRI because apparently the hip socket currently looks like currently looks like a bomb has gone off in it so they need to know what's kind of long term type uh, damage and what's like short term inflation uh, inflation wow uh, inflammation <laughs> um, and stuff like that will go away so uh, I suppose I'll have an MRI or something in, in a few weeks when things have calmed down a little bit and they can assess uh, the damage and, and where we go from there but yeah I'm going to have more toast and a cup of tea nurse was just about to try and take blood and got called off to do something else so I'm part way through <laughs> hopefully there will be some bulging veins when she gets back so it will be easy this time <laughs> 
it worked. And I suppose because I've had a nice big hit of morphine, it didn't hurt as much as when they tried earlier. So the morphine definitely takes the edge off, makes me see the funnier side of things, makes me feel a bit sleepy, which is good, but nothing's as good as that gas and air from the ambulance. Holy moly, I loved that. <laughs> curtains around me because they're about to uh, change my bed but then they've been called off and uh, I think they've actually forgotten that I'm back. I don't mind because I like having the curtains around. Being on an open ward really sucks, I hate it. But the nurses want the curtains open all the time so they can see everyone keep an eye on them and I totally understand that. But I'm enjoying my little bit of privacy while I've got it. Might have a snooze, I can hear someone out there snoozing already. I've just had my last painkillers of the day. It's um, 11 o'clock at night. I'm hoping to get some uh, more sleep tonight. I got three hours last night, one hour the night before. Um, but I, I've, had a, I've had an okay day today. I found out I don't need surgery. Um, although that was possibly yesterday, losing track. But I've been uh, managing pain better and trying to stay positive. So hopefully get some good sleep and um, I hope to go home tomorrow. So, where do I start? I actually slept a bit better last night. I slept for about five hours, fell into a proper deep sleep, consequently woke up and didn't know where the hell I was. Saw I was in the hospital and thought, oh my God, I've been in a car crash or something. Swiftly then remembered, I was just like, oh jeez. Anywho, I was getting excited to go home today because I just needed to see the physiotherapist and get shown how to use crutches and what to do and not do and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it didn't go very well. Physio came and um, I've been lying on my back um, non-stop since last Friday when this happened. I uh, haven't been moved at all. wasn't even allowed to sit up straight um, because they weren't sure. And then uh, physio got me standing up and I just, I just passed out. I, like, I, just before I was gonna go, I said I felt dizzy. So thankfully I didn't pass out and bust my leg, but I started to go, felt massively dizzy. So she helped me back down again. Um, unfortunately I was then sick, um, just awful. Uh, my blood pressure uh, had just dropped massively. Um, tried again and my blood pressure just kept dropping so they basically put me back in bed and said oh we'll try tomorrow so I'm not going home today um, completely failed the physio test I just got massively overwhelmed about like oh my god I'm on crutches for six weeks and can't ride my bike for three months and just it all became too much I got too hot and just overwhelmed and my body decided to say no so I'm back in bed and I'm not going anywhere today. This is off. So the difference a few hours can make is absolutely unbelievable. Yesterday morning was rough. I was so upset after the physio session. I sat and <laughs> sobbed and just felt terrible because I just felt like I was on the way home and then suddenly I was nowhere near home and really not feeling well either. Um, but then the afternoon got better. My brother surprised me and rocked up. He lives in Wales and he just walked into the ward. And I was like, oh my God. He also had 20 chicken nuggets with him, which I devoured. Felt slightly terrible. The lady next to me is nil by mouth. And I'm tucking into nuggets, but um, yeah, they were yummy. And then uh, Rob, uh, after school, went and got my boys and brought them in so I could see them. It was my youngest 12th birthday yesterday. So, um, I gave him some presents and cards and stuff that I'd already organised, so that was really cool. And yeah, I just felt better about everything. I've had so many lovely messages and, and you know, just support, saying to take it easy and not expect too much too soon. So I'm going again with physio today and hoping that it goes better, but I'm also not expecting the world and then hopefully it'll be good. I had an MRI uh, yesterday as well. Um, I had to wait two hours on the corridor um, 
to go in, which is just bonkers. Everyone is just completely overworked here and it's no one's fault and everyone's trying their best, but it's just desperately sad. Um, but yeah, MRI, uh, no new news with that. Um, but yeah, next thing is physio today. So hope it'll go well. So we use that leg first. Okay. Yeah. So we do able and then the bad leg and then the crutch last once you push yourself up. Okay. Yeah. So good leg onto the stair. Yeah. Your yeah. able leg first. Then, then bad, your leg. bad leg. Then crutch. Then onto the same stair or? Yeah. So once okay. you once you push yourself up, that's it. So okay. you go. Yeah. That's it. Well done. And okay. now match the crutch. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. And again. Well done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Good. So we do crutch, bad leg, good leg. That's it. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. Good. Well done. Amazing. Cool. Good. Did you want to practice that again? How do you feel? No, I think that's all right. I'll just um. Just remember, remember that. And I'll give you oh, he's got, got it. Fab. Excellent. <laughs> So I did my physio session and I managed to not throw up or pass out um, or get too carried away, but it was touch and go there for a minute. I started speeding up, getting excited, and Rob's like, whoa, they're turbo. Um, uh, but it was good. And so they've uh, signed me off that I'm good to go home. Gave me some coaching on um, uh, stairs and stuff too, so I should be fine. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to leave because there's a few things that need to be uh, taken care of first, like giving me drugs to take home, um, paperwork out, and small matters like this that's still in my arm from Friday. Um, but I'm hoping to dodge another night in hospital, so we'll see. So it's lucky I didn't have my hopes up too far about leaving because I'm not going anywhere tonight. <sighs> The um, physio needed to talk to the orthopaedics, who then needed to talk back to someone else and then talk to someone else and it just hasn't happened. So I'm staying in another night and maybe I'll get to leave tomorrow. But um, I'm actually glad I'm here. I've befriended the lady opposite who's deaf. Uh, I've got her number and so I'm texting her um, for updates about what's going on because um, she lip reads and sometimes some of the nurses don't want to put their masks down, understandably, but she can't understand. So I'm keeping her up to date with important stuff um, that the nurses are saying and also the gossip on the ward too. So um, I feel like I've actually got a purpose and I'm helping someone while I'm here so I'm not too desperate to get home um, because I'm comfortable here. I can now go to the toilet. I'm mobile on my crutches. Um, so I've been to the loo uh, and <laughs> and I'm doing okay. So I'm hoping to get some sleep tonight and um, maybe I'll get to finally go home tomorrow, but I'll keep you posted. Day six in hospital. Hopefully my last one. I have not got used to the way they blast the lights on in the morning. I think maybe like a little, good morning, I'm gonna turn the light on or something like that would be good rather than just a bam. But anyway, um, not a great night. I think I got about five hours sleep, so not terrible, but a couple of the girls were in real pain again last night, which is just awful. I think everyone's pain is being managed now, so it's okay, but I just, I really hate seeing people suffer. It's terrible. So I really, really want to get out of here today. So I'm hoping for paperwork and departments to talk to each other and all sorts of other miracles to, to happen. I got given a cup of tea and some pain relief. Oops, I just dropped one out. I don't want to lose those. Those are codeine. They're the absolute beauties. But this little thing, this might as well have been a bedpan. When I was on one of those, that's what it felt like, that you had to do a wee 
and anything else you wanted to do into that. It's just a nightmare. I mean, I'm exaggerating, it's not quite that, but that's what it feels like. Anyway, time for the drugs. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And I mean, the fact that you can reach that far is good. Okay? It just allows you, so when you're getting up and sitting down, you've got that extra bit of stability. Freedom! Woo, let's go home. They've let me out um, uh, through another few curveballs at me before that Rob's got to blink and inject me every day, which is fun. Um, so and be nice to me. Some other stuff, which I'll fill you in about later, but I'm leaving, getting out of this hospital. I'm home. I look like shit. I feel like shit, but I'm home. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of other stuff uh, to tell you about. Um, things I've forgotten um, and just crazy other stuff. Anyway, that'll be for another video uh, as I track my recovery. But for now, I'm gonna put all this one together, which will be basically my whole hospital stay um, and finding out about breaking, dislocating my hip, all that guff. Put it all together. Um, so thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Um, it means a lot and makes a lot of difference. Um, and I'm going to document all my recovery um into uh getting back on my bike eventually in a few months time um but for now i'm focused on washing and getting better taking it easy but uh thank you and i'll see you soon <laughs>